We're squeezing and engaging the chest muscles. Hips back on this one. May not look like it's doing much, but you feel it. Great stretch here. Come on guys, let's push on. How are we feeling? Are we sweating yet? What's going on guys? I'm Rob Richards with Bluestone Nutraceuticals and welcome back to this week's Faster Fat Loss Workout. I got a great routine in store for you and all you need is a single pair of dumbbells and a resistance band. We're gonna be performing 30 seconds of banded exercise immediately followed by 30 seconds of resistance with the dumbbell. Then I'll give you a 30 second rest to recover before moving on. Each exercises back to back are gonna focus on a single muscle group. So great for overall strength, conditioning, and of course with these faster fat loss workouts, we're gonna maximize our calorie burn and affect our metabolic rate so we burn calories long throughout this workout. And as always, I'll be sharing my three top training tips with you throughout this workout. So keep an eye out for those. First, with every great workout, we need a great warm up. If you're not already warmed up, we have a great full warm up video for you in the video link below. This is a seven minute full body warm up. So if you need to pause this video, click on that link, go check it out, get nice and warmed up. Join me back here and we'll begin with our first exercise using the band on the floor. I'll give you a five second countdown to get ready. Starting from now. Now with the band, I'm actually gonna hold the bottom here to get twice that resistance. And just simply roll my elbows in to the side, keeping my shoulders back and chest up. Focus here is on the mid upper back, engaging as we drive those elbows back behind us. Exhale on the effort, full range of motion. I'm gonna pick up our dumbbells, bend the hips back. I'm gonna perform both arms together. So with this, the back remains straight, abdominals are pulled in tight. Just focus on the quality of your reps. Now, my first training tip to you is gonna be hand placement with the dumbbells. If we have the palms facing back behind us and rowing up, you're gonna feel this more in the outer width of the back. If you have the palms facing forwards, you're gonna feel it more in the biceps. So think about that when you're focusing on utilizing the dumbbells within your exercises. Okay, we're gonna add a little rotation into the band. Take that behind. This one I'll perform kneeling, engage my core. And we're gonna mimic a chest fly. So keeping the arms at full length, slight bend in the elbow. That way we're not engaging the triceps. And just like a bird flapping its wings, albeit in slow motion, we're squeezing and engaging the chest muscles as we do so. Next up is gonna be dumbbell presses on the floor. So let's get those ready. Feet flat, drop those elbows right up over the chest. And as soon as the elbows touch down, go straight back into that pressing motion. Big deep breaths, keep the abdominals pulled in tight. Let's finish off a few more reps here. Each time we're contracting and squeezing the chest muscles. Up we come. I got some amino fast here, so some branch chain amino acids. I'm just gonna sip on this every couple of rest periods. Might add a few stretches into my rest periods. Now we're gonna move on, focus on our biceps. So, You can see I've got my elbows pushed into the mid region of my abdominals. Doing this allows me to focus on the short head of the bicep, which is great if we want to get that roundness and fullness to the biceps. Full range of motion. Up 
onto our shoulders now. So, pick up the dumbbells, palms forwards, press up overhead, and just keep the knees soft. Knuckles up over the elbows and shoulders, straight line. Full range here. Let's get one more. Let's get a few circle rotations in there. Stretch out on the arm. And move on to the legs now. Take your band, feet in, about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna keep the band held out and then sit down as though I'm sitting onto an imaginary chair right behind me. And you wanna stop when your upper legs, your thighs become parallel with the floor. So no need to go all the way down. Good 90 degree bend at the knees and squeeze up. Immediately we're gonna pick up our dumbbells and perform a step back lunge. So one leg back, step forwards, and repeat with the opposite leg. Keep the back heel raised off the floor here. And you wanna keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. Let's get one more on the left. Again, just throw a few light stretches in there. Great one for the hamstring here. It's really important to keep your muscles pliable, elasticated, and limber. Okay, for our next one, we're gonna focus on the hamstring. So for this, we're gonna go down onto the mat, feet flat, palms up, and then drive your hips up as you push your feet down into the floor. Now with these, I want you to really think about the hamstrings and your glutes as being the primary muscle activators within this exercise. Pick up our dumbbells. Keep the knees soft. It's not quite a squat on this one. We're just flexing at the waist, pushing our hips back, allowing our arms to lower the weights down just below the knees. Full upright position. So you can see within this routine that I'm focusing on some sort of resistance banded exercise followed immediately by a dumbbell one. Extra resistance to overload the muscles, allowing us to become stronger and create more muscular endurance as these workouts go on each week. Whew. Whew. Next, I'm gonna move on, combine the shoulders with Do some Y raises here. So I've got one foot over the band, elbows slightly bent, and just raising that band up to about shoulder height. Try and keep your chest straight on this one so we're not hunching over. Got one dumbbell, hold on the underside and keep the elbows pushed into the lower abdomen. With this, we're just curling up like this. Allowing your wrist to act like a rudder on a boat to keep that dumbbell upright. And all that work and effort is being done by the biceps. Yes. 
Again, water, amino fast, even some PPK in here because we are using resistance and weights. I'm just sipping throughout my rest periods. Triceps now. So here's a great exercise variant. One foot on the band, overhand, we'll step back like that. And we're gonna mimic our tricep kickbacks. So keep the upper arms fixed, parallel to the floor. We're not changing the height of those. You really do feel this one in the back of the arms. Another great one for you here. Take one dumbbell. We're gonna hold it at the side. Upper arms stay fixed. And we're gonna mimic what many call a skull crusher. But with this one, I like to keep my upper arms angled a little bit further back. That way, that dumbbell is never directly over my head. Full extension at the arm. Let's get one more in there. I want to share another training tip with you, and that's to do with these dumbbell kickbacks or banded kickbacks. You're going to utilize the band, keep the chest up, your back straight. What I mean by the arm, keep your upper arm fixed there, so we're only ever flexing and extending at the elbow. And using the tricep muscle to really extend and kick that weight back. Check this one. Band over one foot, hand up. You're gonna angle the elbow down to your waist. You get really good, great stretch here all across the obliques. Do about 15 on each side. Change it over. Step back through there. onto the mat, long legs, long arms. They're gonna meet at the top. V up, so toes are just touching the fingertips. As soon as they touch back down, raise them back up. Working both the upper and the lower abs. For abdominals, I find it really key to focus on your breathing cadence as well. So every time you crunch, exhale. And by breathing out, you're automatically gonna engage and contract the abdominals. Give that a try on our next round. Speaking of which, round two. Now with this one, I wanna share with you how we're gonna push the intensity even more. Remember, it's important that we get through the round, but then for that next round and subsequent following workouts, you've got to challenge yourself even more. As soon as your body becomes adapted to that exercise or that stress, it no longer needs to change. So it's up to us to provide the stimulus to really encourage the body to change. Get ready for round two. So with this one, I got the band over both feet now. Double looped, more resistance here. So again, it's like increasing the weight with the dumbbells or the machine that we're using to mimic the same exercise. Stay upright and keep the elbows close to the body. We're gonna do a single arm. One on each side for 15 seconds. As you can see on this one, I'm leaning forwards a little bit more. I've got my left elbow supported on my left knee. This allows me to get a great stability, full range of motion, and then switch. Elbow close to the body. Really focus on engaging the back at the top. Let's get a few more here. There we go. 
Ooh. Once again, going from back to chest, shoulders, arms, legs, abs, really focusing on every major muscle group within the whole spectrum of this workout. So take that band. We're gonna increase the resistance by just adding a few more twists into it. Let's do this one standing up. Chest lifted up, open the arms. As soon as you feel that stretch in the chest start to loosen, it's about there for me, come back in to close the arms. One of my favorite chest exercises, cable flies or machine, a dumbbell. It's the closing of the arms at full length to really engage the chest here. Okay, pick up our dumbbells, we go back down onto the floor. And straight into our chest press here. Full range of motion, let's see it through. I want your final repetitions of each exercise to be as good as the ones you started with. That's time. Place those dumbbells down. I'm gonna switch back to some biceps ones on this one. Now with this one, I'm gonna add a variance in. Elbows more at the side of the body. So it's working more with the long head. Give us some length to the bicep on this one. You can see here, biceps are really having to work as I pull that band up, which has increasing resistance. So basically mimicking what we would do with the dumbbell, but outside, at home, basically anywhere you've got some space, a band, a few dumbbells. Come on guys, let's push on. Okay, dumbbells back up. I wanna push these up overhead, but the weights aren't touching at the top. Depending on the weight of the dumbbells, this might be the most challenging one of the whole routine. Done. Where were those aminos? Got me right at hand. back onto our legs. So we can increase the resistance by changing the width of our feet here. As we squat down, more of the band here has a greater amount of resistance because we stretch out the band at the bottom. So even if you only have access to one band, it's a great tip there to increase the resistance without adding any more weight. Remember, hips back on this one. Push through the feet as they're pushing through the ground. Lunges as well have to be one of my favorite air leg movements. No impact, much better on the knees, especially with these step back variants. So again, heel remains up, my shoulders and hips are stacked in the middle. Just keep the arms long at the side. If you haven't performed the step back lunges, give them a try, whether it's in the gym or within these routines. Step back lunge, as opposed to a step forwards lunge, keeps that tension away from the knees and allows you to really progress on the quality of the technique. Whew. Okay, let's add a band into this one. Okay, 
band goes over our hips like so. And therefore when we push up, I can hold the band down, increase a little bit of that resistance against the hips as I drive up. May not look like it's doing much, but you feel it. And it's about these small increments that enable us to build upon these workouts time over time. Whew. Stiff legged deadlift. So again, arms remain at full length, dumbbells lower just below the knee. No need to go all the way down towards the floor. And it's the hamstrings that we're focusing on here, lengthening and shortening to pull us back to an upright position. Let me show you that again. So from here, my hips are pushing back. If my arms are completely straight, by the time my hands are at about knee length, they're still in that same plane, that same vertical axis. So if you're unfamiliar with that one, give that one a try. Okay, let's hit some shoulders and biceps on this one. One foot in. We do some Y raises on this. So really just raising the arms up to create a Y, like a letter Y. I'm gonna work the middle deltoid, work some of the front shoulder muscles there as well. It's a great all round shoulder exercise. Time for our butt curls. So, palm on the underside, keep the elbows tucked in in the front of the torso. And we want to get a full range of motion in the arms as well. So, lengthen the biceps here, raise that dumbbell up, but not enough where you pull the arms forwards. You want to keep the upper arms tucked constantly at the side of the body. Ooh. Ooh. How are we feeling? Are we sweating yet? You're building up a sweat? I know I am, which is a good thing. It's a byproduct of energy. It means our body has an increased thermogenic effect. It's burning more calories as fuel to power us through this workout. Ooh. We've got a few more left. Let's stay sharp on these. Execute with proper form. Remember heels over the band. We can hold it a little bit lower, increase the resistance. And keep your back straight as well. So we're not arching like that. Chest lifted up. Therefore we keep all of that tension in the triceps. Remember this one, take one dumbbell, hold it at both ends, upper arms extended back, and then just flex and extend at the elbow. <sighs> really great focused tricep exercise, this one. By the way, you guys are doing great. If you're hanging on, following me, performing all of these exercises, good job. And if you're not quite there yet, stay with it. You will improve, you will get better, and you'll see those changes come faster than you might realize. A few more left on the abs. Let's set up. So you can perform this together with both feet. I like to perform one side at a time. I just feel that it's more focused that way. And if you want, keep your free hand spare, touch the side and you can feel those muscles have to work even without you thinking about it. Just by writing yourself, swap legs. So again, free hand touching, exhale. And think about just driving your free elbow down towards that side of your body. 
on the floor, long arms, long legs, meet in the middle, working both the upper and lower abs. We have it, once again, great job. Two rounds, dumbbell, bands, We've got some body weight in there as well. This kind of approach is a great way to burn calories, work on your abs, as well as engage all of our major muscle groups, as opposed to spending the equivalent time, 24 minutes, 30 minutes on a treadmill, basically doing nothing but walking. We walk enough throughout the day, so spend your time wisely, grab your amino fast, Get some PPK, some blade, focus on these workouts three, four times a week for just 24 minutes can make a huge difference after only a month. So give that a try. Like I said, drop me a comment in the video below here. Let me know which exercises you liked, which ones you didn't like so much or you need to improve upon. I do what I can to help you step up your game. All right guys, with that being said, make sure you show this channel some love, hit that like button and be sure so subscribe with notifications turned on and also send this workout to a friend, share it, email on your social media to whoever you think could benefit from doing these follow along workouts. I've been Rob Richards. Can't wait to see you next time on our Faster Fat Loss workouts here on Blue Sun Nutraceuticals. You know where to keep it. Stay strong, stay healthy. I'll see you back here soon.